me. Help me. back today in the fish room and today we're going to be setting up a breeding tank and we're going to be filling up that 40 gallon down there at the bottom but if you ask what fish we're going to be adding in there we're adding some fish from this aquarium right here and we're adding in the ivory head melodos so i have two males and six females and plus these guys are also really aggressive in this tank so i want to get them out of here and hopefully that will help with some of the aggression that's going on in this aquarium and also get all the um, females out of this aquarium as, as well. So I think that should help tremendously with everything that's going on in this tank because you can see everybody's kind of got bite marks on them and a lot of fighting going on in this aquarium. So I'm just trying to stop all the aggression and get everything back in order. I think that'll be nice to breed these guys. It'll be species only aquarium. But yeah, I gotta go ahead and get these guys caught out and ready to add into the other aquarium. All right, guys, so to get all these fish out of here, obviously I gotta catch them out, so I'm gonna catch these guys out. Right now, the first thing you're gonna do is fill up the bucket with water. Or you can have a better doing the little suck and suck, and then Bruh. get them all. So I'm gonna do the best I can to not have to take all this stuff out of here and ruin the tank. And I don't know which fish I'm gonna go for first, but I'm just gonna go for it. So right here. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? One female. Right. One down. Let's see how many we can get. Alright, alright, alright. Three more females in gotcha, there. Bitch. Another one. So what I do with the two net method is I'll use my smaller black net to kind of rehearse them to where I want them to go, and then I use the white net. And I use the stationary, so I'll chase them down here and then doop, scoop them with the white net real quick. Duh. And it seems to work pretty good for the most part. Sometimes it can be a little harder than it seems, but yeah. I'm fast as oh, fuck, boy. In there. <laughs> Psych! There you go, buddy. Here, come show the. Up in there. Yeah, look at this guy. Absolutely. Help me! Help me! All these other fish in here all tweaking out. Oh, I got two more females in here. Yeah, boy. Just lovely. I hate when my neck gets caught on things or it messes everything up. Another female. Back. You're all on a high speed chase right now. Oh! Ooh, she juked you. Let's see. By the way, y'all, I got my little brother on the camera right now. So if y'all hear a goofy person in the background, that's just him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. I'm kidding. Come on, man. Get out of here. Where's the man? Oh, there's a man right there. See his big self just cropping around like he runs the place. Uh-uh-uh, you're getting evicted, my guy. Just like that. You gotta set the trap, and then you gotta whatever you call it. That one's a feisty one. Yep. Completely dropped your black one in there. Oh, you got another net to scoop the other net out, you know what I mean? Ready to go. Got one female left. It's over here somewhere, I didn't see it there. She done jumped out, she got eight. Stare into this motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so I got these guys caught out and acclimated now. 
and I have two males and five females in there. And I already have a female ivory head already in here. Also, I have one of them star sapphires in here that I've been holding for my buddy. Um, he said he still wants it, but he's just waiting on, I don't remember exactly what he's waiting on, but he's waiting and I'm holding it for him, no biggie. But yeah, I got that guy in there for now, for the time being until he comes and gets him. But while we wait for them guys to acclimate, we're gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about some of the stuff that's been going on in the fish room. I've had some tragedies happen in the fish room lately and it's kind of sad but i figure i'll go ahead and share it with you guys so if you watched two videos ago i had that turkish albino turkish is from this tank the albino flavescent i moved them out of this tank into that 65 gallon right all right so that day i did a, a water change in that aquarium there was a boil order issued in my city so and i didn't realize that until the next day so um yeah, it's kind of uh, heartbreaking to me, but I lost that albino Turkish. I, I lost my big snow white albino, which was the pair to this gal right here, the big male. And I also lost a female Afrikobu. And luckily, if I didn't get off work when I did and get home, I probably would have lost everything else. So it kind of sucks, but it happens. It's the name of the game. I'll drop a quick picture right now of what the fish looks like. But yeah, it was definitely a sad tragedy for me. A pretty exclusive fish that I lost. But, you know, it's the name of the game. It happens. But another sad thing is a 75-gallon down here. I only have two good-sized peacocks left in this aquarium because the heater got stuck on down here. And when it got stuck on, it heated this tank up to about 100 degrees. So I have that sunshine peacock right there, and then I have another really nice OB in here somewhere hiding out. But I did have a total of 10 fish in here and everybody else died. This was a, a hospital tank, so I was bringing all these fish back. And it's kind of disappointing that I spent about a little over two months bringing these fish back from, they were bad, they were really unhealthy. And they just started looking really good again within the last few weeks and i came home and this tank was boiling hot and i lost all my fish from this aquarium so it's kind of a bummer but it opens the world to new things to do with this tank so i'm thinking about doing either a grow out with this aquarium or another breeding tank because i want to focus on certain species and start breeding them but yeah off of the sad topic so with this 125 right here i'm thinking about also taking out these uh Labadoo chromus blue otters. I have this male and four females and putting them down in that lower 40 gallon that I have that fryer eye and the Cygnus in that you seen in my last video. And if you haven't seen that last video, go ahead and check it out. And whenever you're done with this video. But yeah, anyways, I want to set them guys up in there, I'm thinking, and try to breed them guys some more. Although I do have a bunch of babies down here. But yeah. I just think it's pretty cool and I'm thinking about taking out like this uh, blue lip. He's just not thriving in this tank. He's way smaller and he's not getting the amount of food he needs. And also this albino dolphin, as you can see, he's kind of getting pick on in this tank. But yeah, I want to get them guys out of there as well. And then I think everything should be pretty good in this aquarium. So, you know, it's always something in the fish room, always some beefs going on, some animosity in between the fish, but yeah, you guys will have that. But yeah, I don't know. I got some more stuff coming. Thinking about, oh yeah, I also wanna ask you guys about this planet aquarium right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and turn on the light real All right quick. guys, sorry about that. I had to go ahead and turn this light on because it's on the timer, so it wasn't on. But anyways, what I wanna ask about this aquarium right here is I wanna turn this into a cichlid tank, I'm, I'm thinking. And what I'm pretty much going to do is take all this gravel and everything out of this tank, besides probably this big old piece of driftwood because I don't know what other aquarium it'll fit in. The three angelfish I have, and the rummy nose, the Corydora catfish, and the couple sore tails I have. I want to take them all down here into this 40 gallon breeder. And um, I just think it'd be a nice tank. I use this to grow out more cichlid space because realistically, I don't have this tank that stocked. 
So I think all these fish in a 40 gallon will be perfect. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If I should leave it how it is, keep on going at it or move them on to the 40 gallon breeder. I just personally think that it will work out a little bit better with all the fish that I have breeding and future plans of the fish room. So let me know down in the comments and pick the camera up here in a few whenever these fish are done acclimating. Tony! Alright guys, so these guys are all acclimated. I'm getting ready to catch them out. So I'm going to go ahead and catch these guys out real quick. Start with... Oh, female. It almost looks like one of the blue otter females actually. <laughs> oh. Run. <laughs> that boy got some horsepower on him. new tank that's the subdominant uh, ivory head the dominant ones freaking beautiful that's him right now oh, I got him and a female oh. there you go. these guys should color back up here within a day or two they're just obviously a little stressed out from moving out of that tank they're also going to have to get used to not having substrate or anything in this aquarium. But I do have some hides. I'm going to show you here in a second what I'm using for this aquarium. Two more. I'm fast as fuck, boy. What would you say? <laughs> the last three females in this tank. My first actual species only breeding aquarium. Thinking about maybe adding some more females in here. I don't know yet, but. Also, if I do that 75 gallon down there for a breeding tank, I could put a divider in the center of it. And it'll just be nice because then I could have two different species in there. So, but yeah, what I'm doing for hides in this aquarium is just some PVC pipe. I believe it's either two and a half inch or three inch PVC pipe. It's all stuck together right now, but I could pull it apart real quick and then show you what it looks like in there so i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down for a second and get it all pulled apart and then drop it in the tank all right guys so this is what it looks like after i tore it apart i got one corner piece i bought like a five foot straight piece and just cut off a couple small pieces because i'll probably use the rest of it uh in the future for future things in the fish room or whatever and then i also got this three-way piece so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just put these in this aquarium i don't know where exactly probably just drop it in there and see where it lands I do want this facing me actually, so plop it over like that, and voila. So there's the first one in there. And you can just tell this guy doesn't like anything above his tank. Look at really? <laughs> You're not that tough, dude. Calm down. All right, guys. So this corner piece, I'll just toss it. Ooh, I made a big old splash. Freaking lovely. All right, so that piece is in there. I'm just gonna drop this piece right there and that piece right over there. I don't know. I'm sure they'll find their place where they need to be in this aquarium, but it's something, not a whole lot in the here, but it's something for them to get a little bit of cover. I might add a couple other things, like, or actually, let's see what we got right now. All right, so I have this thing right here and I got this tree trunk right here. Hmm. So I do both for now, or eh, eh, eh. which one? Tree trunk. Tree trunk. All right, we'll do the tree trunk. All right, yeah, this should be cool. Oh, it's got a bunch of spider webs on it. Psych. All right, guys, maybe I lied. We'll see this in a future video. All right, guys, that's probably it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching, especially if you made it to this far in the video. You're a real one. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy my content content and hit that post notification bell so you guys get alerted every time that i post but i might be a little late on posting my next video because i'm gonna be spending about a week down in florida with the guys so be out of town again but hey you gotta live life right well i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching